Whether you're a clerk or a waiter, an accountant or a doctor, your health matters. Hello everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Your Health Matters. I'm Dr. Tasila Tembo Peters. Today, we are at an outreach post and the topic of discussion today is nutrition in children. Our health expert today is the provincial nutritionist of Lusaka province, Rebecca Mwewa. Rebecca will explain in more details about good nutrition in children from ages zero to five years. Interestingly, on the program, we also show you how to cook a simple and nutritious meal. Now, we asked the people of Chongwe district what they knew about good nutrition in children. Here is what they had to say. <laughs> In children, when we talk about nutrition, we are saying that this child should get adequate and appropriate nutrients that the child needs for good growth and development. In the absence of good nutrition, there is what we call malnutrition, which is uh, either overnutrition or undernutrition. Uh, when the baby is born, there is what we call exclusive breastfeeding, where the baby has to feed from the mother's breast from birth to six months. After six months, the baby is supposed to be introduced to other foods. And these foods have to be nutritionally adequate. You know the body needs different types of nutrients. Okay? We have the carbohydrates, which gives the body energy. The baby is able to run, is able to crawl. And then we have proteins that uh, make the body to build itself, its muscles. And we have uh, vitamins, which helps the body to fight infections. And we also have minerals. And we have uh, different sources of these foods. Kuno kwa mene tabuera kusavana farmu, takonka programu ya zmai, yo punzi sana, kajesedwe kawa na bangono, kuyambira pa six months, kufikira ku two years, Mwana mwamena ene la kujeselewa. So, tenzita konza ko poreji. Yamene taika ko unga, kapenta, ma vegetables itasemen sarepu. Then itaika ko na soti, na tu cooking oil o tuwa saizi, then na sugar. I poreji itaipa angaguti itandize vaa na batu, kuti wakule buino. Si voveka vamene ta seven zisa, vamene vinga tandizile, Tinga seven zese ma vegetables yali onse, tinga seven zese unga, uli onse, mpoleji tinga sankani zenga, titibeka penta taika koron shava, kuti nkale poleji, ya mene izata ndizira, umoyo wabwino kubana, kuti wakale wakule na tanzi ya bwino. So we talk about the variety of foods, we talk about the amount, how much is the baby supposed to eat per meal or per feed that it should contain adequate calories or energy or carbohydrate. Issues of hygiene many times are ignored, but that is very, very important because if we don't practice good hygiene, then we are exposing this child to diarrheal diseases. And you know diarrhea, when it hits a child, it's very dangerous. If the baby is not given appropriate nutrition, that's when malnutrition comes in. It's amazing to note that in Zambia, now, overnutrition is actually on the increase. 
amongst our children. It's because of the feeding practices mainly. You know, on the under five card, we have uh, uh, Z scores and those lines, they show us how the baby is growing. So when the baby's weight for age is above the plus two line, then that child is considered to be overweight. If the baby's weight is above plus three, that child is considered to be obese. Some babies, it's genetic, but in terms of nutrition, many times, uh, especially the affluent mothers, they would want uh, not to breastfeed, or maybe they don't have time to breastfeed. That's what they think. So they would rather give their babies artificial milk. And when we talk about undernutrition, we have what we call protein energy malnutrition, which is also in two types. There is kwashoko and marasmus. Basically, it is the protein and the energy that is lacking in these children. We have what we call the first 1,000 most critical days. Uh, this is a period from conception, when a mother conceives, up to the time when the baby is two years old. And we call this period the window period. This is the time that we can shape this baby's destiny in terms of nutrition and health. If a baby does not have good nutrition during this period and they go into malnutrition, if this situation is not corrected within this window period, it has detrimental effects on the child. One of them is that this child will be prone to infections because already the immune system is compromised because the nutrition is not adequate. Even the activity of the child, that child is not going to be very active or as active as others. And more so, when this child starts going to school, their intelligence is affected. Sometimes you find the weight of the baby is going down instead of increasing because normally when the baby is growing you expect the weight of the baby to increase every subsequent weighing session when the baby's weight goes below what we call minus two it means that child is underweight there is another indicator that we use which is stunting so when a child's height is less than what is expected of the age that child is considered to be stunted and then there is also what we call wasting or acute malnutrition that one we measure the weight of the child and the height so if the baby's uh, body mass is smaller or is small for the height that child is considered to be uh, wasted so some signs that we may see are loose hair and even changing color, it's becoming pale, then that's one sign of malnutrition. Another sign is body wasting, just losing muscle, especially after episodes of diarrhea or any other infection which makes it difficult for the baby to eat. And the skin becomes loose, it's detaching from the body because the muscle is gone. There's just the skin and the bones. Another thing that we may look out for is what we call edema or swelling. When a, a mother or whoever is taking care of the baby sees, sees these signs that we have talked about here, please don't hesitate. You need to take the baby to the nearest health facility because those, when the, those signs start showing, it means the level of malnutrition has advanced. Well, viewers, you now know that it is important to give little children good nutritious meals. It is important that children from zero to six months are exclusively breastfed. Introduction of other foods should start after six months. It is also important to give children at least five meals in a day. Three of those meals must be main meals and two must be snacks. If you want to know more about preparing good nutritious meals for your children, visit your nearest health facility. We have now come to the end of the program. 
We hope that you have learned a lot from this program. This has been Dr. Tasila Tembo Peters from Chongwe District saying continue staying healthy. It matters, it matters, your health, your health matters, yes, it matters, it matters, oh. Whether you're a student or a mother, a lawyer,